struggling to understand where whether there's levels to this game, but it seems like there's a difference between youth to elite. What are some of the things that coaches, fighters need to be aware of when going between these tiers? Okay, so there's a there's there's a different levels, especially in amateur division. Um, as you well realize that uh, the one minute and the two minute fighters, they only fit one and two minutes. It's like a, it's really like a learning process. However, uh, once they get to elite, that's where the sifting begins. Okay, so you you caught me when I was doing a little bit of research. So. Are there certain styles that are more effective in these um, maybe in like the, the when your fighters are younger that maybe don't translate to the elite division? Where where do you see the biggest gaps and where do you see fighters have to make the most adjustment when going about uh, the amateur process? I think what's happening is that once the adjustment is simply in, in basically in a in forward aggression. I, I see uh, my daughter's parallels in regards to uh, nationals. Uh, I taught her how to box, how to defend herself at all times. However, uh, as it got closer to youth and elite, uh, she had to be more forwardly aggressive in order to capture victories that were split. So that's where I think the, uh, the, the levels are. Excuse the mask. I'm ready to do a personal training. So they got Omicron over here again. So I got to wear this mask directly after this meeting. But that's where I see the, uh, the difference. Uh, they have to be a little bit more forward aggressive. If not, you know, according to the judges, you know, uh, anyone taking a backward step is seen as losing points. It's part of the process. So obviously like fighters like Sierra, your daughter, many others, Oftentimes, Cuban boxers, they like to be on the outside distance gauge and that. Now, let's flip it yep. on its head. If you're just coming forward with maybe aggression and a lot of volume, does that style run into problems at a certain point? Does it run into problems internationally? Does it run into problems from youth to elite? Does it run into problems even before that? Because now we've talked about the back foot boxer. What are some of the things that happen in terms of competition with an aggressive fight? Okay, so I can only give you experience as, as, as it pertains to my daughter. Uh, I, I remember bringing her to Canada and uh, we fought in a tournament, King of the Ring. It was a three, uh, there was three females in her bracket and uh, in Canada, they're very, very aggressive. So they hit you in the arms, they hit you on the shoulders and the chest everywhere. So if you're going down the bracket, one, two, three, four, the further down the bracket you go, the more physical damage you get if you're forwardly aggressive. But if you have a style like my daughter's, you could pick, you could throw that jab, circle around, end up back in the middle. And the least damage that you uh, sustain, the better you're gonna perform when you get to the finals. What does this national tournament show for the fighters and the coaches across the country? What does the tournament really show to all the coaches by who performs and how they perform? I want to, I want to get close to you and I want to speak uh, succinctly and I want to speak slowly so you can understand this. There's a lot of coaches that are on the verge of being downright delusional. They put down, this is my fighter. It's uh, the future of boxing, but they're only fighting a minute, two minutes. And when they get to three minutes, then they start to fade. And then, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the boxers that were dominant in the, uh, uh, in the youth and in the uh, junior division are no longer dominant. For example, um, you know, the, the field they sent to Panama, uh, the junior game a great sort of girls. But when they went to nationals, every single one of them lost. And why did they lose? Because they fought older girls with more experience like Jahaira, uh, like uh, 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 Jennifer Lozano. You know, 
I told everybody Jennifer Lozano was going to win that bout. Uh, they were like, are you kidding me? The, the girl she's fighting, Kayla Gomez, she's a, a much decorated uh, fighter. But where, how? In lower brackets, the people that weren't really up to form. And now that she goes to elite, she has to fight dynamo, dynamos like Sharon May Patricio, uh, Jennifer Lozano, amongst just a few. And I guess the same goes for my daughter, too. You know, they're going to have to fight people that are veteran, veterans and they know this game and they know what it takes to win. I think my pushback would be, I think that the positive is that for all the fighters, whether it's Jewelry or um, Faith Mendez or Kayla Gomez, they get experience and they get to see what that next level look is. And I think that next year we can see, because I think that this is the process of how we get an Olympian is you have to face the experienced fighter, know what they are, and then come back and then challenge them once again. So this is where uh, my, my experience in boxing in and out of the ring, training various peoples on all sorts of level. I will tell you, that the only factor that these coaches don't take into effect is that their fighters in these low divisions are dominant because they are fighting people that aren't, you know, on that level. However, when they fight people on that level, now you got to get buzzed. You're going to get a left. You're going to get a check hook. You're going to get an overhand right. And when your fighter gets buzzed, they're not going to perform. They're going to panic. And then a lot of these fighters, uh, they, they, the coaches have not developed them. They, they come from gym to gym, they gym hop. So my experience is, that's why I don't, I try not to train fighters that were handled by somebody else. Cause the minute they get buzzed and they panic, they revert back to their primary teaching, which was inferior to begin with. What's up everybody, it's your good friend Lukey and I appreciate you watching this video. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment with suggestions, which is the reason you're seeing this video, and also if this is just a single video and you're saying where's the full interview, look at the upper left hand corner and you can find the full interview or check in our video section. We're rapidly trying to improve this channel and it takes support from not just myself, but also people that enjoy the channel to keep me motivated and try to give you the best boxing content. Be sure to go to itrboxing.com for all of your boxing needs. This is Luke.